you'll see Ali is taking the part of Chris today on Indian Bingo. Gabriella sat there ready to take the water. And in the corner, and we do have a camera on him, wearing an ill mask is Chris, who probably occasionally grunt and comment on what's going on. Yeah. Through his mask. <laughs> it's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Gabrielle Aplin, I'm pleased to say, is our special guest on Innuendo Bingo today. Her favourite game, or one of them, but not her mum's. Not my mum's, no. no. She hates it. Yeah, hates it. She's listening, though. Oh, hello, mum. What's her name? Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> OK, so, you ready? <laughs> Ali? Ready. Gabrielle, ready? I am so ready. Chris Stark in the corner with the ill mask. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> OK, get your waters, please. Chris is uh, wearing the ill mask today, so he doesn't infect any of the uh, stars in the room. Okay, first, let's go over to Escape to the Country on BBC One. Now, as you're about to hear... Oh, Ali, not already. Mm. An early... It's my favourite show on TV. An early... Why is it your favourite? I just love Alistair Appleton. Just love him. <laughs> Keep it in, Ali. Water, please. As you're about to hear, country folk are very different to city folk. Often they have much lower expectations. And that's what I want you to look at. Now, how do you feel about the idea of a semi? I'm quite happy with a semi. <laughs> quite happy with it. Mm. Now, how do you feel about the idea of a semi? I'm quite happy with a semi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the use of the word quite. Quite happy. I'm quite happy. Mm. I suppose. Water, please. Lots of it. You right over there, Chris? I'm OK, yeah. Are they playing the game well? Uh, it's OK. Not, uh, more spray, please. More spray. OK. Hmm. Now, we're going over to Talk Sport. And they're live from Manchester City's football ground. Now, I really don't like football, really. I mean, I've tried. I don't like it, though, do I? Not really, no. But I wouldn't mind a season ticket in this stand. We've got two uh, sides of the ground the, um, on each side of the pitch, which have got three tiers, and both ends have got uh, we're two the, tiers. Yeah, we're in the bell end at the moment. We are. We? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's uh, easy to forget where you are in the stadium. We're in the bell end at the moment. We are. We? <laughs> yes, we are. Grey trousers were a terrible choice. Oh, very bad. Good spitting there, Gabrielle. Thank you. Do you remember when I got it in your shoe, Chris? I do remember yeah. it, yep, yep. Good Wet times. Shoes. Yeah. Good Water, please. <laughs> now, over to BBC Radio 4, and it's Saturday Live. <laughs> On Saturday Live, they're attempting a Christmas pantomime, but... With a difference. It's Saturday morning, it's gone nine, and still no sign of Dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's squelching now. Gone nine, and she's complaining already. And still no sign of Dick. Radio <laughs> One's own version of the classic panto, Dick Whittington, there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> a puzzle on my chair. Oh, not already. These things happen, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, yeah, we're all human. So. Get your waters, come on. Now, over to Simon Mayo on BBC Radio 2. And we're joining Simon as he reads an email from a listener as part of his feature, Confessions. And this is quite a confession. Bought a couple of bottles of bottle conditioned stout from the market for myself and went to a cheese stall to get something for my wife. Now, she's partial to a bit of blue vein. <laughs> no hands, please. Ali. Don't pretend to not know what it means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of my favourites, there, Scott. <laughs> One of your favourites, but not the reaction we were expecting. Oh. Took me a while to, yeah. That's okay. the most uh, Radio 2 thing I've ever heard in my life. Now, she's partial to a bit of blue vein. <laughs> <laughs> I like the backing music on Yeah, it. I do. Water, please. Probably. Ali Plum, I must remind you, if the water comes out, there is a no-hands rule. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now... It's Britain's ultimate pilot on BBC Two. Now, Johnny is a typhoon pilot. And by the sounds of it, he really is taking one for the team here. During this 10-second manoeuvre, Johnny's head is filling with more and more blood. Even though painful, Johnny has to resist the temptation to pull out early. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was... that was something. <laughs> Chris Dart, your comments, please. How are they playing? Yeah, very good. Could be wetter. A bit more in the face, please, Ali. Yeah, noted. Yep. Now, one of our all-time favourite classics from Gardener's World. Now, 
Is this a real plant? Even after years of playing this clip, I'm still not convinced. Evergreen shrubs that come from the forests of China and Southeast Asia make useful ground cover in the garden. The evergreen Sarcococca hookeriana will tolerate dry shade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, was a, that was a good aim there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my trousers are no longer grey. The evergreen Sarcococca hookeriana will tolerate dry shade. Actual plant. Wow. Water, please. Gabrielle Aplin's on Ennio Bingo. Next, over to Radio 2 and Jeremy Vine. And thanks very much to Jeremy, who sent this one to me himself. Love it when people offer up clips from their own shows. Now, next time someone offers me a mealworm to eat... Can, can everyone please remind me they absolutely will hate the taste? Tom Sanders is here. These are mealworms. Give Hi. us a tasting here. Ladies Tell and you gentlemen, what you think. this looks very interesting, intriguing. Here we go. Mmm. Dry, with a, a little t- aftertaste, maybe. You were going to say the word hint. A hint, yes. A hint of... <laughs> a hint of the bush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said that in. Not for me, thanks. A hint, yeah. A hint of <laughs> a hint of the bush. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and finally, oh, game. let's go over to Drive Time on Five Live, one of our favourites from last week. And they report that one thousand geese have been stolen from the Norfolk area. Can you imagine it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, Gabrielle, you're a famous singer, and you know with fame comes great opportunity. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been offered? Anything like this. And police in Norfolk are searching for thieves who managed to round up and steal more than a thousand geese. It would presumably make a huge racket trying to round up 1,500 geese. Well, that's Jake Davis from Poultry World magazine. Detectives say they want to hear from anyone who's been offered a cheap goose. (laughs) 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 And that was Gabrielle Aplin in your bingo with Ali Plum standing in for Chris Stark because he's ill. Awesome game today, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you, Gabriel. One.